This video is going to demonstrate a special type of data clustering services of VisuMap. The algorithm for the service is called the self-organizing graph. Let's first start VisuMap with a sample data set. This data set is a 50-dimensional data set with about 400 data points. This map we see here is generated with a multidimensional scaling algorithm. Each dot, or glyph as we call it, stands for the weekly price history of an equity stock. We can view the price history of these stocks through different data views. This map displays roughly two or three data point clouds. We might classify these data points manually in VisuMap by assign different glyph types to them. However, the manual method might become difficult if the map structure become more complicated. With the service of self-organizing graph, we can perform such classification automatically. In order to do so, we first open the SOG clustering window. The SOG window opens with a default network, that is shows the star structure. For this example let's load a different network through the network editor. The network editor shows a list of pre-configured networks on the right side of the window. We can load any of them by double-clicking on their icons. Let's load this network with two clusters. Now, we can pass this network to the SOG window by clicking on the Save button. In the SOG window we could adjust some training parameters through the control panel, or through the property window open through this button. But for this example we can just use the default settings. We start the learning process by clicking on the Run button here. When the learning process has finished, we see that the SOG algorithm has classified our data points into two clusters corresponding to the clusters in the network. Each node in the network now is associated with some data points. We can see this association by selecting some nodes in the networks. Those associated data points will become selected in the main window. Similarly, when we select some data points in the main window, their corresponding nodes will become selected in the SOG window. We notice that our sample data set can also be seen as three data point clouds ordered roughly along a line. We can cluster this data set into three clusters with a different network. To do so, Let's open the network editor again. In the editor we can drag a network from the gallery to the editor window. And then change its size or reconnect them. For our case, we have here a network with three clusters. But the three clusters are arranged in a symmetric form. Let's rearrange the network clusters into to a linear structure. Here we need to add two new connections with enlarged weights. Notice that the red cluster is located in the middle between the other two clusters. Now, we can go back to the SOG window and restart the learning process.
we see that the data point clouds in the middle are now shown in red color, which is the color of the middle cluster in our network. We also notice that there are many data points located at the peripheries of the clouds shown as light blue dots. This is because we have assigned light blue type to those nodes at the exterior boundary of the network. This example has shown that self-organizing graph has the capability to capture specific data from a high dimensional data set by means of pattern matching. This capability is unique among clustering services available in VSUMAP. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.